Hi, this is Dennis Feidner with CFO On The Go, a Sage Business Partner. Um, I was going through my YouTube videos and realized I did not have one uh, that addressed uh, service receivables very well. So I'm going to record a short one right here for you. But I always like results. And so here is a result that you can have if you use our service module. And um, I'd like you to take a look at this. This is a report that's profitability by tech. So if you, I didn't show you, but you can do this for any date range or for any tech. But this is every work order that Carlos worked on, the date that he worked on them, what he did, what we build a client, and what our gross profit is. Uh, and so I can look right down here and say, hey, Carlos built out for that period of time $109,000 in work orders and made me $56,000. And the answer to the next question you have is, no, you cannot hire Carlos. Uh, he's not available. But wouldn't you like to know how much money each one of your techs makes you each week, each month, each quarter? Uh, and then at, le at least you know who you want to keep and who you don't want to keep. And so uh, that's a that great report. Uh, clients absolutely love that report. Uh, but let me show you how I get to that. And this is just an overview. I'm not going to get into a lot of details. Uh, if the phone were to ring right now, I'd click this button on my desktop. Uh, it brings up a work order screen. I'm going to do this two different ways. Uh, and there's no right way. And there's no wrong way. Uh, I don't put an invoice number in here. I can look up the client by phone number. Or I can look up the client a lot of different ways. Pull down menus, alpha. Uh, I just happen to know Jessica's number. So uh, Jessica is my client. Uh, it's going to pop up here and tell you if they have an outstanding balance. And if that balance is past due before you go out there and do the job and in this case we're just going to fix something okay um, I'm not going to go through a lot of this other stuff over here we can do that when you have a demo I can now say who do I want to send out there and of course I'm going to send Carlos out there because he makes me a lot of money and then here's all you have to do what's the priority it's a normal we're just going to call it normal uh, I want to schedule them for tomorrow so I just hit my plus sign to change that date they want them there at 7 a.m. Uh, it's probably going to be a two-hour job, so it'll be done at 9. And um, it's going to take him 30 minutes to get there from the office. So everything there is something that you, you already know, it's something your dispatcher already knows. So I'm going to save that real quick. Why do I do it here? Is I have this. I now have my dispatch board. So where Carlos is going to be tomorrow, what time he has to leave the office to get there. All this information about the client, name, address, phone number. If I want to, I right-click that and email it uh, directly to the uh, tech. You know what? Carlos calls in sick. I'm going to give that to somebody else. I give it to Frank. I have the ability to drag and drop that. So here's the other thing. And, and this is the, and, and again, no right way, no wrong way. I can also do this. I can have my client call me and say, hey, I need somebody tomorrow uh, at 7 o'clock. I can find out who's available, highlight that, and then assign that to a new work order. So I can block out the time and then create the work order, or I can create the work order and then go find who's available. So again, no right way, uh, no wrong way to do this. So I've now created this work order for him to do. He's gone out there and he's done the work. I now go in here and I'm going to go find some... Um, Find some electrical parts here. And we'll just say he used, um, actually, I'm going to do the insert multi mode. Uh, we'll say he used this, he used some of this, he used some of this, he used one of those, and he used one of these, okay? I then say insert those, there are those items. I come over here and I put in my quantity. So in this case, I had five four, three, two, anybody want to guess what the next number is? One. Uh, I do that. I recalculate this. I come in here and then um, let's see if I remember the part number here. I think it's 87. Nope. Uh, well, I'm just going to type it in. I was going to call this uh, service labor. Uh, it's by the hour. He was there for 2.5 hours, and I would have a part number for that. I just can't remember what it is right now, and the speed is the issue here, uh, and he's at 87.50 an hour, 
again, I extend this. I now have an invoice to send to the to the client. I can come up here and I can. Um, I have a choice of sending the work order, uh, the invoice. In this case, I'm going to send the invoice up at the very top right. You'll see I have the ability to print that and stick it in an envelope and stick a stamp on it, kind of old-fashioned, but you can do it that way. Uh, or I can create a PDF, or more than likely, uh, most of the time you're going to pick that Outlook button. It's going to open up your Outlook email. It already has that invoice PDF for you attached to the email, and you just pick the contact that you want to send that to, and off you go. So what I've done all in one basically screen here is I took the phone call, I dispatched it, I invoiced it, and I'm done. And now all that information is available for reports. The other thing uh, I'm going to address here real quickly is if you're dealing with uh, commercial clients and they have multiple locations, uh, you can build those locations in here. Here's all the locations and the contact information uh, for each one. If I come out of here and I go to um, Jessica real quick here. And here's Jessica's client record. Uh, across the bottom down here, if you'll read left to right with me, here's every piece of equipment that we've installed on her, on her sites, the location, if they have multiple locations, the date we installed it, in-service date, how often we service it, and what the next service date is. Uh, each piece of equipment that's installed can be managed by client. Uh, if I'm in here and I want to see every invoice that, that we have, there's every invoice I've ever sent to Jessica. Here's all of my service contracts because we can manage contracts for um, if you're HVAC, filter changes, uh, plumbers, maybe you have an annual inspection of the boiler uh, or a furnace, uh, what have you. Uh, we can have service contracts. And then here's everything she's ever paid us. And I can drill back to the actual detail if I need to. So anyway, that service, it's a nutshell. Uh, in a nutshell, I don't want to get into a lot of detail because everybody does things differently and has different questions. But... We can take the phone call, dispatch it, put it on the dispatch board for everybody to see. We can email it to, the, to them. Uh, if you want to go to the next level, uh, we also can provide them with uh, any type of tablet, any kind of mobile device, uh, iPad, Galaxy, I don't care. As long as it has an Internet connection is all we care about. Uh, and then they can actually get these dispatched to the tablet. They can actually see all the details on the tablet, all of the previous work orders for that client and that location. They can also get field signatures in the field and leave a receipt uh, for the client. Your choice, it could be priced out or it could not be priced out. You know, obviously on residential, you want it priced out. On commercial, you just want to take, catch a receipt, you know, signature so you can show that the work has been done. So anyway, if this is something that you think would benefit your company, and I think knowing how much each technician makes you for a period of time is something you should know. Uh, it's a mouse click for us. There's no extra effort. Just managing the process. Uh, we'll create that report uh, without any additional work. So anyway, my name is Dennis. Uh, our phone number here is 800-659-5851. So 800-659-5851. Uh, and we've got tons of, I think I've got 130, 140 videos out on YouTube about the Sage 100 product and some CFO tips, my background CFO for a long time, and some CFO tips on how to better manage your business and your financial aspect of your business. So uh, take a look at those. Uh, if you have any comments or have any questions, please give me a call. I don't charge for phone calls. Thanks.